Today, let us learn how to modify the status name. Now, I'm creating this video because uh, I received some uh, questions related to this particular topic. Although it is not really difficult, it is a very simple thing. Let us say you are looking at a workflow. In this case, I have a work workflow which is a simplified workflow with three states like to do, done, and uh, in progress let us say for let us say for some, some reason you want to modify it done to something else now there are a few things that i think uh, you need to be aware of if you're looking at a status that status can appear in the workflow that status can appear uh, as a column name although it is different so column names are actually uh, different they are mapped to statuses but for end users let us say if uh, People are not really used to this particular screen. They are looking at a board. On a board, they will uh, see these three or four columns. And usually people simply work on Jira by just dragging the issues from one column to another column. Now, of course, you have uh, the column names on top, which is uh, definitely something that you can modify, but it has to be mapped to a, to a status. Now, if you have to rename, you have to probably rename at a few few different places now so first of all what you need to do you need to let us say let, let us say you have to modify the status name itself for for example in my case i have a status called done and i want to modify it to something as let us say all done so you can always go to the jira admin and you, you can then go to issues issues section here and then you can find the statuses under the issue attributes and you can uh, then modify the status name by clicking the edit link here and maybe you want to name it as uh, all done so this is all good and once you do that you can always go back to your uh, workflow let us let us take a look at the issue and uh, let us also verify whether this is actually updated or not so when you open your issue in a proper full view screen the 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 issue view screen you can see here that the status is now all done you can also click on the workflow view workflow link um, so if if your users have this permission to view the workflow they can and they can see the all, all done status now if you go to the board you may also modify the column name just to have some consistency so you can always go to the board configuration and uh, you can then uh, go to your column and you can maybe modify it to all done which is of course mapped to all done status and uh, you may also want to this is something that i prefer although for any users they will see all done but for better consistency better consistency yeah I think that is a word <laughs> I was looking for. So if you go to the uh, workflow and if you modify the workflow and in the text mode, you also have something called a step. Now, step is usually mapped to, no, step is mapped to status and uh, you may also modify it. To, you may also mo mo want to modify the step name to have some consistency. So you can also just rename it. You don't have to do it, but I think for consistency although done and all done mean same more or less but uh, uh, you can do it here as well also you <clears throat> can also take a you, you can also take a look at the uh, transition so although we are working on simplified workflow and in case of simply in case of simplified workflow the transition ids are same and uh, because it is a simplified workflow but in case of normal workflow you may also want to modify the transition name in case you think you want to change it so you can maybe click on it then uh, click on the edit and modify the transition name as well so this is something that you can do so renaming a workflow status is not at all difficult but for a consistent, consistent user experience, you may also want to modify the column names and uh, maybe the, tran the transition names as well. Because usually these things 
are also displayed and um, viewed by users and uh, as a good jira administrator you want to make their life easy and simple so this is all i wanted to share in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much